हेलो डियर फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल केमिस्ट्री एस्पायरेंट नाउ इन टुडेज लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ मालिकुलर ऑर्बिटल एनर्जी लेवल डायग्राम फॉर बोरॉन मॉलिक्यूल सो इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी ऑलरेडी लर्न द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ हाइड्रोजन मॉलिक्यूल देन दिलियम मॉलिक्यूल देन द लिथियम मॉलिक्यूल एंड देन द बेरेलियम मॉलिक्यूल by using this molecular orbital theory concept so link of all this video is given in the description box kindly watch that video also now if you follow all my videos you know that we are using 7 to 8 simple point to explain the formation of any molecule by using this molecular orbital theory concept now by this concept we are explaining the formation of molecule as well as the few properties of this molecule now in this video we are also going to take the eight important point by which we can easily explain the formation of boron molecule so let's start with this video now the point number first that is the boron molecule we know that boron molecule is formed by the two boron atom and the each boron atom in the ground state has a five electron in its 1s 2s and 2p atomic orbitals now here i have shown the electron configuration for the boron molecule we know that boron atomic number 5 and its ground state electronic configuration will be 1s2 2s2 and 2p1 this is our point number first now point number second that is regarding the calculation of total electrons in the boron molecule we know that boron molecule is made up of two boron atoms and the each boron contain the five electron hence there will be the total 10 electrons in the boron molecule that i have shown here so this is our point number second now the point number third that is the construction of molecular orbital energy level diagram the linear combination of 2 1s then the 2 2s and the 2 2p that is 2px 2py and 2pz atomic orbitals of both boron atom gives the 10 molecular orbitals out of that 10 molecular orbitals the five molecular orbitals are the bonding molecular orbital and these are shown by the sigma 1s then sigma 2s then pi 2px pi 2py and the last one is sigma 2pz while the remaining five are actually the anti bonding molecular orbitals which are higher in energy and these are the sigma star 1s then the sigma star 2s pi then, star 2px pi star 2py and lastly the sigma star 2pz so these are the five anti bonding molecular orbitals so total there is a 10 molecular orbitals that i have shown in this molecular orbital energy level diagram you can observe here now again remember here the total 10 electrons are distributed in this 10 molecular orbitals by using abaus principle pauli's exclusion principle and hans rule so out of the 10 electrons the first two electron will enter into the sigma 1s bonding molecular orbital then the next two electron will enter into the sigma star 1s anti bonding molecular orbital so 2 plus 2 total 4 electrons are used out of 10 6 is remaining so out of remaining 6 electron the 2 electron will enter into the sigma 2s bonding molecular orbital then the next 2 electron will enter into the sigma star 2s anti bonding molecular orbital so 4 plus 4 total 8 electrons are used only 2 is remaining out of these 2 electrons the first electron will enter into the pi 2px bonding molecular orbital and the last electron again enter into the pi 2py bonding molecular orbital so here 4 plus 4 plus 2 we have distributed the 10 electrons by using abaus principle pauli's exclusion principle and hans rule which i have shown in this animated form one this leads to the formation of boron molecule this is our step number 3 now the step number 4 that is the electronic configuration the electronic configuration 
for boron molecule i have shown here so here kk is a constant sigma 1s2 then sigma star 1s2 then the sigma 2s2 then sigma star 2s2 then pi 2p x1 and pi 2p y1 so this is the simple electronic configuration i have written for the boron molecule for writing this electronic configuration i have taken the reference of the point number 3 where we have distributed the 10 electrons you can observe here so simply you are going to write the electronic configuration by following the point number 3 which is actually the construction of the molecular orbital energy level diagram now the point number 5th that is the calculation of the bond order we know that the bond order is given by the formula bond order equals to 1 by 2 into nb minus na where nb is a total number of electrons in the bonding molecular orbitals and na is the total number of electrons in the anti bonding molecular orbitals so for boron molecule the total number of electrons in the bonding molecular orbital that is nb equals to 6 and the total number of electrons in the anti bonding molecular orbital that is na equals to 4 so by putting all these value in the formula that is bond order equals to 1 by 2 into nb minus na therefore bond order equals to 1 by 2 into 6 minus 4 therefore bond order equals to 1 by 2 into 2 and therefore the final calculations give the result bond order equals to 1 that is plus 1 so here we can say that from the bond order the two boron atoms will connected each other by the single bond now the point number 6 that is the stability of molecule now here the stability of molecule depends upon the two important factor and the first factor is the total number of bonding electrons and anti bonding electrons in the molecule and the second factor is the bond order so here boron molecule the number of bonding electron is greater than the number of anti bonding electron that is the value of nb is greater than the value of na and the bond order that we obtain having a positive value hence the diboron molecule will be the stable molecule next point number 7 that is the number of bond then bond length and the bond dissociation energy so here the number of bond will be equals to 1 as the bond order is 1 then next that is the bond length the bond length is 1.924 and strong and the bond dissociation energy for the boron molecule 293 kJ per mole that is our point number 7 now the last point that is the magnetic property of this diboron molecule so here we can observe that generally the boron molecule contain the two unpaired electron in pi 2px and pi 2py hence this molecule is paramagnetic in nature so these are the simple eight point by which we can explain the formation as well as the few properties of diboron molecule or simply the boron molecule hope you will like this video thank you so much for watching this video see you in my next video